While it's primarily known for its incredibly harsh winters, Wisconsin summers can be hot and sticky. The fact is today it's supposed to hit about 95 degrees with high humidity. That's tolerable, but only if you have air conditioning. Unfortunately, some families don't, especially ones that are searching for a heating and cooling solution that's cost-effective and eco-friendly. That search is gonna to come to an end today for one Wisconsin family. We're gonna meet up with Tom Jolien, president of Airflow Incorporated. He's got a solution for this family that's not only going to lower their energy costs, but it's also going to be better for the environment. Tom, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. All right, so you've got a great solution to solve the heating and cooling problems for this family here. Tell me a little bit about it. So what's unique about this house is this side of the house is uh, heated by an oil furnace, mm -hmm. and that side of the house is heated by propane or LP. So I'm that side of the house with the um, propane furnace, we're gonna replace the furnace and overlay a heat pump system. This side of the house, we really wanted to get rid of the furnace and we didn't wanna pull LP over to this side. So we are going all electric, all heat pump on this side. So in the summertime, we're gonna cool with the heat pump. Mm -hmm. Most of the winter, we're also gonna heat with the heat pump because LP fuel is also rather expensive. All right. And then when it gets really, really cold outside, we'll use the LP for just a little bit of, of a bump in heating um, throughout the season. What is a heat pump? In short, it is the refrigeration cycle powered by electricity. So a heat pump is the same refrigeration process that the air conditioner uses, only it's got one element that's different. It's got a reversing valve. So it's the same, all the same processes of refrigeration just run in the opposite direction. So in the winter time, there's Believe it or not, there's still heat out there, at least as far as the ref refrigerant goes. All right. So we can pull the heat from outside and move it into the home uh, in that heat pump cycle where we're operating in reverse. And that sounds a little bit crazy, but refrigerant can still uh, uh, perform heating when it's minus 55 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. So I've heard that heat pumps don't work in cold climates. Is that true? So heat pumps historically have not performed well in cold climates. What's unique about this particular heat pump is it does really well in cold climates. How does it do that? Well, number one, it's got a variable speed compressor inside of it. Okay. So almost infinite control of the capacity of heating and cooling. Mm -hmm. Number two is it's got a very intelligent microprocessor controller in it to control all that infinite capability of um, speed. Mm -hmm. Then finally, it's got a different piping arrangement than most, than all mm -hmm. uh, heat pumps in that it allows it to continue to operate even when the temperature gets cold, number one, and number two, still continue to put a high amount of heat outside. Now there's physics, mm -hmm. it doesn't produce as much heat when it's really, really cold outside as when it's 40 degrees outside, we all know that. Right. But it's a manageable level where a little bit of backup heat can take care of those polar vortex days where it gets to be minus 25 or whatever it turns out to be. Right, yeah. okay. Tom, this sounds expensive, is it? <laughs> um, it does kind of sound expensive. Um, what's interesting about this manufacturer, uh, what I like about it is it's competitive with just your code compliant, 95% furnace and your 13 seer air conditioner, which everybody gets. Nobody wants to spend double for this, right? No. This may be a little bit more, a little bit less, it's close. What about the uh, operating costs? That's another important point. Um, so uh, I mentioned just a second ago, it's very efficient. So the air, the, in the air conditioning mode, this is 18 sear. Okay. And a conventional code compliant is 13 sear. So it, it'll reduce the cost of air conditioning by about 40%. And in the heating mode, that, that's a little bit different because it depends on your, your fuel source. Mm -hmm. So in this home, oil's expensive. Right. LP propane, also expensive. So running electricity to heat your home against oil, LP, or frankly, electric, mm -hmm. is gonna be less expensive. Now we both know natural gas is very inexpensive, right. but the efficiency of this makes it at least competitive. Do you feel like the owner's taking a risk using a heat pump? Oh, that's, a, well, a contractor would definitely say so. Yeah. Because they're just, they, they know like, oh wait, heat pumps don't work in cold climates, we're never gonna do that. Mm -hmm. So this heat pump, is tested extensively at low, ambi low ambient conditions. And this one's built for cold climates. Okay. So as far as riskiness goes, the, all the test data says there shouldn't be a thing to worry about. 
So I know I have an old air conditioner and it is super loud. Right. Um, what about these? Are they loud at all? I think all air conditioners are getting a little bit quieter, but th this particular heat pump is more than 10 decibels quieter. What does that mean? You can be standing next to it and not hear it. Part of the reason why yours is loud is because it's a single stage unit. So whoomp, mm -hmm. it's on and then whoomp, it's off. Right. On and off. And if you're a light sleeper and sometimes it gets warm in the middle of the night, it might even wake you up. Mm -hmm. Seems like this kind of a system would be better for the environment, is it? So using electricity in lieu of burning fuel is sort of like a link in the chain. By eliminating fuel or reducing fuel burning at the home level, mm -hmm. um, we create more opportunities for renewables to take place. Well, thank you so much for coming out to talk to us today about heat pumps. Oh, you bet. All right, and if you wanna find out more, check out the website for more info.